Hi everybody, welcome back to NFTV and we are proudly sponsored by One Football. Their app is the best around in terms of football, keeping you up to date with all the news, transfers. Now we are expect to have a very, very busy transfer window, so make sure you download the One Football app to keep up to date with all of the rumours. Download it, it's in the description, it's free. What are you waiting for? Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, this video is sponsored by One Football and Chris Wood. Yes, Burnley's Chris Wood, relegation rival Chris Wood, is set to join Newcastle United and become Eddie Howe's first striker of the January transfer window. It was reported by John Percy and Luke Evans. Look at the we've had on the Green and Morning Show, so please give that one a watch. He told you all his feelings about the Newcastle takeover, and it was brilliant, really, really worth watching. But Himself and John Percy have both reported in the well, early hours of this evening, I should say, that Chris Wood has left Burnley to come to Newcastle to do a medical. And if the medical goes according to plan, he will sign for Newcastle. What do you make of it? Because it is one that's probably polarised opinions, polarised a lot of people because he's not the fanciest names, but he strengthens us and he de-strengthens Burnley and Burnley are just above Newcastle uh, the fact they've got a couple of games extra as well the better goal difference as you can see in the table now it's absolutely key really that Newcastle managed to get this deal done now why would Burnley sell well Burnley are in a very very difficult position Chris Wood has a release clause and Newcastle have activated it now it is in the region at the minute somewhere between 20 and 25 million pounds it is getting confirmed what that is it, it really is a big intent that Newcastle are looking at their options and going, what can we do? They know they can get Chris Wood done because Burnley can't do anything. And the more I think about it, I think it's the, the more it makes sense. Now, this is the reason why I think it makes sense. If you look at the last two clubs he's played for, we'll start with Leeds United. 41 goals in 83 games. Now, I know that was championship, but one and two sounds very appealing to me. He went to Burnley after a fantastic season with Leeds in the championship. Burnley, of course, in the Premier League for the last few years now. 49 goals in 144 games. Now, that's just one uh, one and three just under. So it's not the worst, I think, the worst record, if you think about it. And considering Burnley don't get a lot of chances, Burnley don't score a lot of goals, and he's managed to still score, let's say, 50 goals. I think that's pretty good going. I really do. And as well, Burnley don't want to lose him, but they have potentially lost him. Uh, due to this activation clause, the release clause that Newcastle have managed to, uh, managed to pay. He is a presence. He's a big, big presence. He's a unit. Now, Newcastle had about 25 crosses against Cambridge. Now, I know Cambridge is not going to be the sort of opposition you're going to play in week in, week out. But if you get so many crosses in, and Chris Wood is a handful, Newcastle do get, will get the chance of getting the odd goal. I'll put it to you. Do you think Chris Wood would have scored against Cambridge if he had all those crosses? from Alan St. Maxman, from Ryan Fraser, from Kieran Trippier. The list goes on. So I think it's not a bad move by Newcastle United at all. I actually think it could be a very, very good move for the short term. Do I see Chris Wood being at Newcastle for more than two years? No, I don't. I really don't. I think this is a short term fix to get Newcastle out of the position that they are in. And let's be honest, we needed a striker anyway. Dwight Gill's not getting minutes. Callum Wilson's out for two months. Chris Wood's injury record is very, very good. So, on the whole, I actually think it's a bit of a sensible move by Newcastle United. And it's something that, yes, it's taken a little bit more time than a lot of Newcastle fans would have wanted. Maybe the evening Newcastle owners. But this looks like this will be done. And more importantly, he will be in for the game against Watford, which, in my opinion, it's a must-win game. You go above Watford, you can actually even attract more players to come to Newcastle United. Newcastle aren't in the relegation zone. It all adds up. But let me get your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is a very, very good bit of business by Newcastle United? Can Chris Wood get us the goals to keep us in the division? It would be absolutely fantastic if he could do it. If he could get the winner on Saturday, that money will be well justified as well. One Football does sponsor this video as, as well, so make sure you press the link in the description below as well. They'll have all of Newcastle's transfer rumours and updates. They'll have the update on Chris Wood as well, so make sure you give that a look as well. But yeah, 
exciting times potentially at St. James's Park. This will probably be the last transfer video that we'll be doing so far this month. So make sure you stay tuned with Newcastle Fans TV. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV on the road for 40,000 subscribers if you can help in any small way. We would greatly appreciate it. Let's see you on Saturday.